Animal, Wikipedia article audio. Animals are multicellular eukaryotic organisms that form the biological kingdom Animalia. With few exceptions, animals consume organic material, breathe oxygen, are able to move, reproduce sexually, and grow from a hollow sphere of cells, the blastula, during embryonic development. Over 1.5 million living animal species have been described of which around 1 million are insects but it has been estimated there are over 7 million in total. Animals range in size from 8.5 millionths of a meter to 33.6 meters long and have complex interactions with each other and their environments, forming intricate food webs. The study of animals is called zoology. Aristotle divided animals into those with blood and those without. Carl Linnaeus created the first hierarchical biological classification for animals in 1758 with his Systema Naturae, which Jean-Baptiste Lamarck expanded into 14 phyla by 1809. In the late 1800s, Ernst Haeckel divided the animal kingdom into the multicellular metazoa and the protozoa, single-celled organisms no longer considered animals. In modern times, the biological classification of animals relies on advanced techniques, such as molecular phylogenetics, which are effective at demonstrating the evolutionary relationships between animal taxa. Etymology Characteristics Most living animal species are classified in the Belateria, a clade whose members have a bilaterally symmetric body plan. The Belateria include the protostomes in which many groups of invertebrates are found, such as nematodes, arthropods, and mollusks and the deuterostomies, to which echinoderms and chordates belong. Life forms interpreted as early animals were present in the Ediacaran biota of the late Precambrian. Most modern animal phyla became clearly established in the fossil record as marine species during the Cambrian explosion around 542 million years ago. Humans make use of many other animal species for food, including meat, milk, and eggs, for materials such as leather and wool, as pets, and as working animals for power and transport. Dogs have been used in hunting, while many terrestrial and aquatic animals are hunted for sport. Animals have appeared in art from the earliest times and are featured in mythology and religion. The word animal comes from the Latin animalis, meaning having breath, having soul, or a living being. The biological definition of the word refers to all members of the kingdom Animalia, whereas in colloquial use, animal often refers to non-human animals. Sometimes the word may refer to only other vertebrates, or just mammals. Animals have several characteristics that set them apart from other living things. Animals are eukaryotic and multicellular, unlike bacteria which are prokaryotic, and unlike protists, which are eukaryotic but unicellular. Unlike plants and algae, which produce their own nutrients animals are heterotrophic, feeding on organic material and digesting it internally. With very few exceptions, animals breathe oxygen and respire aerobically. All animals are modal during at least part of their life cycle, but some animals, such as sponges, corals, mussels, and barnacles, later become sessile. The blastula is a stage in embryonic development that is unique to most animals, allowing cells to be differentiated into specialized tissues and organs. All animals are composed of cells, surrounded by a characteristic extracellular matrix composed of collagen and elastic glycoproteins. During development, the animal extracellular matrix forms a relatively flexible framework upon which cells can move about and be reorganized, 
making the formation of complex structures possible. This may be calcified, forming structures such as shells, bones, and spicules. In contrast, the cells of other multicellular organisms are held in place by cell walls, and so develop by progressive growth. Animal cells uniquely possess the cell junctions called tight junctions, gap junctions, and desmosomes. Structure With few exceptions in particular, the sponges and placosoans animal bodies are differentiated into tissues. These include muscles, which enable locomotion, and nerve tissues, which transmit signals and coordinate the body. Typically, there is also an internal digestive chamber with either one opening or two openings. Nearly all animals make use of some form of sexual reproduction. They produce haploid gametes by meiosis, the smaller, Modal gametes are spermatozoa and the larger, non-modal gametes are ova. These fuse to form zygotes, which develop via mitosis into a hollow sphere, called a blastula. In sponges, blastula larvae swim to a new location, attach to the seabed, and develop into a new sponge. In most other groups, the blastula undergoes more complicated rearrangement. It first invaginates to form a gastrula with a digestive chamber and two separate germ layers, an external ectoderm and an internal endoderm. In most cases, a third germ layer, the mesoderm, also develops between them. These germ layers then differentiate to form tissues and organs. Reproduction and Development Repeated instances of mating with a close relative during sexual reproduction generally leads to inbreeding depression within a population due to the increased prevalence of harmful recessive traits. Animals have evolved numerous mechanisms for avoiding close inbreeding. In some species, such as the splendid fairy wren, females benefit by mating with multiple males thus producing more offspring of higher genetic quality. Some animals are capable of asexual reproduction, which often results in a genetic clone of the parent. This may take place through fragmentation, budding, such as in hydra and other nadarians, or parthenogenesis, where fertile eggs are produced without mating, such as in aphids. Animals are categorized into ecological groups depending on how they obtain or consume organic material, including carnivores, herbivores, omnivores, detritivores, and parasites. Interactions between animals form complex food webs. In carnivorous or omnivorous species, predation is a consumer resource interaction where a predator feeds on another organism. Selective pressures imposed on one another lead to an evolutionary arms race between predator and prey, resulting in various anti-predator adaptations. Almost all multicellular predators are animals. Some consumers use multiple methods, for example, in parasitoid wasps, the larvae feed on the host's living tissues, killing them in the process but the adults primarily consume nectar from flowers. Other animals may have very specific feeding behaviors, such as hawksbill sea turtles that primarily eat sponges. Ecology Most animals rely on the energy produced by plants through photosynthesis. Herbivores eat plant material directly, while carnivores, and other animals on higher trophic levels, typically acquire energy by eating other animals. The carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and other biomolecules are broken down to allow the animal to grow and to sustain biological processes such as locomotion. Animals living close to hydrothermal vents and cold seeps on the dark sea floor do not depend on the energy of sunlight. Rather, 
Archaea and bacteria in these locations produce organic matter through chemosynthesis and form the base of the local food web. Diversity Animals originally evolved in the sea. Lineages of arthropods colonized land around the same time as land plants, probably between 510 million years ago during the late Cambrian or early Ordovician. Vertebrates such as the lobe-finned fish Dictolic started to move on to land in the late Devonian, about 375 million years ago. Animals occupy virtually all of Earth's habitats and microhabitats, including salt water, hydrothermal vents, fresh water, hot springs, swamps, forests, pastures, deserts, air, and the interiors of animals, plants, fungi, and rocks. Animals are however not particularly heat tolerant, very few of them can survive at constant temperatures above 50 degrees Celsius. Only very few species of animals inhabit the most extreme cold deserts of continental Antarctica. Largest and Smallest the blue whale is the largest animal that has ever lived, weighing up to 190 metric tons and measuring up to 33.6 meters long. The largest extant terrestrial animal is the African bush elephant, weighing up to 12.25 tons and measuring up to 10.67 meters long. The largest terrestrial animals that ever lived were titanosaur sauropod dinosaurs such as Argentinosaurus, which may have weighed as much as 73 tons. Several animals are microscopic, some Myxozoa never grow larger than 20 m, and one of the smallest species is no more than 8.5 m when fully grown. The following table lists estimated numbers of described extant species for the animal groups with the largest numbers of species, along with their principal habitats and marine and free-living or parasitic ways of life. Species estimates shown here are based on numbers described scientifically, much larger estimates have been calculated based on various means of prediction, and these can vary wildly. For instance, around 25,00027,000 species of nematodes have been described, while published estimates of the total number of nematode species include 10,00020,000, 500,000, 10 million, and 100 million. Using patterns within the taxonomic hierarchy, the total number of animal species including those not yet described was calculated to be about 7.77 million in 2011. Numbers and Habitats The first fossils that might represent animals appear in the 665 million year old rocks of the Trizona Formation of South Australia. These fossils are interpreted as being early sponges. The next oldest fossils that could be animals are found in the Ediacaran biota, towards the end of the Precambrian, around 610 million years ago. These are difficult to relate to later fossils. Some may represent precursors of modern phyla, but they may be separate groups, and it is possible they are not animals at all. Most known animal phyla first appear in the fossil record during the Cambrian explosion, starting about 542 million years ago, in beds such as the Burgess Shale. Extant phyla in these rocks include mollusks, brachiopods, onychophorans, tardigrades, arthropods, echinoderms, and hemichordates, along with numerous now extinct forms. The apparent suddenness of the event may however be an artifact of the fossil record, rather than showing that all these animals appeared simultaneously. Some paleontologists have suggested that animals appeared much earlier than the Cambrian explosion, possibly as early as one billion years ago. 
Trace fossils such as tracks and burrows found in the Tonian period may indicate the presence of triploblastic worm-like animals, roughly as large and complex as earthworms. However, similar tracks are produced today by the giant single-celled protist Gromius ferrica, so the Tonian trace fossils may not indicate early animal evolution. Around the same time, Another line of evidence may indicate the appearance of grazing animals, the layered mats of microorganisms called stromatolites decreased in diversity, perhaps due to grazing. Animals are monophyletic, meaning they are derived from a common ancestor and form a single clade within the Apoikozoa. The Coenoflagellata are their sister clade. The most basal animals, the Porifera, Tenophora, Nadaria, and Placoso, have body plans that lack bilateral symmetry, but their relationships are still disputed. As of 2017, the Porifera are considered the basal most animals. An alternative to the Porifera could be the Tenophora, which like the Porifera lack hox genes important in body plan development. These genes are found in the Placoso and the higher animals, the Bilateria. Evolutionary Origin The phylogenetic tree indicates approximately how many millions of years ago the lineages split. Phylogeny Coenoflagellata Porifera Tenophora Plicoso. Non bilaterian animals. Bilaterian animals. Protostomes and deuterostomies. Ectososo. Nadaria. Xenochyelomorpha. Chordata and allies. Echinodermata. Arthropoda and allies. Nematoda and allies Rotifera and allies Spiralia Ketognatha Platyhelminths and allies Mollusca History of classification In human culture Anelida and allies Several animal phyla lack bilateral symmetry among these, the sponges probably diverged first, representing the oldest animal phylum. Sponges lack the complex organization found in most other animal phyla, their cells are differentiated, but in most cases not organized into distinct tissues. They typically feed by drawing in water through pores. The Tenophora and Nadaria are radially symmetric and have digestive chambers with a single opening, which serves as both mouth and anus. Animals in both phyla have distinct tissues, but these are not organized into organs. They are diploblastic, having only two main germ layers, ectoderm and endoderm. The tiny placosoans are similar but they do not have a permanent digestive chamber. The remaining animals, the great majority comprising some 29 phyla and over a million species form a clade, the Bilateria. The body is triploblastic, with three well-developed germ layers, and their tissues form distinct organs. The digestive chamber has two openings, a mouth and an anus, and there is an internal body cavity, a chylome, or pseudocellum. Animals with this bilaterally symmetric body plan have a head end and a tail end as well as a back and a belly, therefore they also have a left side and a right side. Having a front end means that this part of the body encounters stimuli, such as food, favoring cephalization, the development of a head with sense organs and a mouth. Many bilaterians have a combination of circular muscles that constrict the body, making it longer, and an opposing set of longitudinal muscles, that shorten the body, 
these enable soft-bodied animals with a hydrostatic skeleton to move by peristalsis. They also have a gut that extends through the basically cylindrical body from mouth to anus. Many bilaterian phyla have primary larvae which swim with cilia and have an apical organ containing sensory cells. However, there are exceptions to each of these characteristics, for example, adult echinoderms are radially symmetric, while some parasitic worms have extremely simplified body structures. Notes Genetic studies have considerably changed zoologists' understanding of the relationships within the Belateria. Most appear to belong to two major lineages, the Protostomes and the Deuterostomes. The basal most bilaterians are the Xenochiellomorpha. Protostomes and Deuterostomes differ in several ways. Early in development, Deuterostome embryos undergo radial cleavage during cell division, while many protostomes undergo spiral cleavage. Animals from both groups possess a complete digestive tract, but in protostomes the first opening of the embryonic gut develops into the mouth, and the anus forms secondarily. In deuterostomies, the anus forms first while the mouth develops secondarily. Most protostomes have schizocelous development, where cells simply fill in the interior of the gastrula to form the mesoderm. In deuterostomies, the mesoderm forms by enterocilic pouching, through invagination of the endoderm. The main deuterostome phyla are the echinodermata and the chordata. Echinoderms are exclusively marine and include starfish, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers. The chordates are dominated by the vertebrates, which consist of fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. The deuterostomies also include the hemichordata. The ectososo are protostomes, named after their shared trait of ectisis, growth by molting. They include the largest animal phylum, the Arthropoda, which contains insects, spiders, crabs, and their kin. All of these have a body divided into repeating segments, typically with paired appendages. Two smaller phyla, the Onychophora and Tardigrata, are close relatives of the arthropods and share these traits. The ectososoans also include the nematoda or roundworms, perhaps the second largest animal phylum. Roundworms are typically microscopic, and occur in nearly every environment where there is water, some are important parasites. Smaller phyla related to them are the nematomorpha or horsehair worms, and the chinorinca, priapulata, and lorisifer. These groups have a reduced chylome, called a pseudocellum. The spiralia are a large group of protostomes that develop by spiral cleavage in the early embryo. The spiralia's phylogeny has been disputed, but it contains a large clade, the superphylum Lophotrochozoa, and smaller groups of phyla such as the Rufozoa which includes the gastrotrix and the flapworms. All of these are grouped as the Platytrichozoa, which has a sister group, the Nathifer, which includes the Rotifers. The Lophotrochozoa includes the Mollusks, Annelids, Brachiopods, Nemertians, Bryozoa, and Entoprox. The Mollusks, the second largest animal phylum by number of described species, includes snails, clams, and squids while the annelids are the segmented worms, such as earthworms, lugworms, and leeches. These two groups have long been considered close relatives because they share trochophore larvae. In the classical era, Aristotle divided animals, based on his own observations, into those with blood and those without. 
The animals were then arranged on a scale from man down through the live-bearing tetrapods and other groups such as crustaceans down to spontaneously generating creatures like sponges. Aristotle was uncertain whether sponges were animals, which in his system ought to have sensation, appetite, and locomotion, or plants, which did not, he knew that sponges could sense touch and would contract if about to be pulled off their rocks, but that they were rooted like plants and never moved about. In 1758, Carl Linnaeus created the first hierarchical classification in his Systema Naturae. In his original scheme, the animals were one of three kingdoms, divided into the classes of Vermes, Insecta, Pisces, Amphibia, Aves, and Mammalia. Since then the last four have all been subsumed into a single phylum, the Chordata, while his Insecta and Vermes have been renamed or broken up. The process was begun in 1793 by Jean-Baptiste de Lamarck, who called the Vermes un espèce de chaos and split the group into three new phyla, worms, echinoderms, and polyps. By 1809, in his Philosophie Zoologique, Lamarck had created nine phyla apart from vertebrates and mollusks, namely Cirripedes, annelids, crustaceans, arachnids, insects, worms, radiates, polyps, and infusorians. In his 1817 L.E. Regni Animal, Georges Cuvier used comparative anatomy to group the animals into four embranchements, namely vertebrates, mollusks, articulated animals, and zoophytes. This division into four was followed by the embryologist Carl Ernst von Baer in 1828, the zoologist Louis Agassiz in 1857, and the comparative anatomist Richard Owen in 1860. In 1874, Ernst Haeckel divided the animal kingdom into two sub-kingdoms, metazoa and protozoa, including a sixth animal phylum, sponges. The protozoa were later moved to the former kingdom Protista, leaving only the metazoa as a synonym of animalia. The human population exploits a large number of other animal species for food, both of domesticated livestock species in animal husbandry and, mainly at sea, by hunting wild species. Marine fish of many species are caught commercially for food. A smaller number of species are farmed commercially. Invertebrates including cephalopods, crustaceans, and bivalve or gastropod mollusks are hunted or farmed for food. Chickens, cattle, sheep, pigs, and other animals are raised as livestock for meat across the world. Animal fibers such as wool are used to make textiles, while animal sinews have been used as lashings and bindings, and leather is widely used to make shoes and other items. Animals have been hunted and farmed for their fur to make items such as coats and hats. Dye stuffs including carmine, shellac, and kermes have been made from the bodies of insects. Working animals including cattle and horses have been used for work and transport from the first days of agriculture. Animals such as the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster serve a major role in science as experimental models. Animals have been used to create vaccines since their discovery in the 18th century. Some medicines such as the cancer drug Yondelize are based on toxins or other molecules of animal origin. People have used hunting dogs to help chase down and retrieve animals, and birds of prey to catch birds and mammals, while tethered cormorants have been used to catch fish. Poison dart frogs have been used to poison the tips of blowpipe darts. A wide variety of animals are kept as pets, from invertebrates such as tarantulas and octopuses, insects including praying mantises, reptiles such as snakes and chameleons, 
and birds including canaries, parakeets, and parrots all finding a place. However, the most kept pet species are mammals, namely dogs, cats, and rabbits. There is a tension between the role of animals as companions to humans, and their existence as individuals with rights of their own. A wide variety of terrestrial and aquatic animals are hunted for sport. Animals have been the subjects of art from the earliest times, both historical, as in ancient Egypt, and prehistoric, as in the cave paintings at Lascaux. Major animal paintings include Albrecht Dürer S. 1515 The Rhinoceros, and George Stubbs S. C. 1762 Horse Portrait Whistle Jacket. Insects, birds, and mammals play roles in literature and film, such as in giant bug movies. Animals including insects and mammals feature in mythology and religion. In both Japan and Europe, a butterfly was seen as the personification of a person's soul, while the scarab beetle was sacred in ancient Egypt. Among the mammals, cattle, deer, horses, lions, bats, and wolves are the subjects of myths and worship. The signs of the Western and Chinese zodiacs are based on animals.